Well, staying on Israel, you'll notice that I kept the ABC out of the first editorial. Now, that's not because our national broadcaster is beyond reproach on this issue. Far from it. We needed to separate the ABC because of some egregious examples of biased and inappropriate reporting on this conflict. The first example is political reporter Noir Haidar. The Daily Mail reports that ABC reporter Noir Haidar is under fire for social media posts about Israel-Palestine conflict. Does she work at the ABC or Al Jazeera? An ABC political reporter has been accused of breaching the national broadcaster's strict impartiality guidelines after sharing controversial tweets about the conflict in Israel and surrounding fallout in Australia. Now, for context, she retweeted this after the alleged Gas the Jews rally. How is it possible that Palestinians in Australia are being policed for their language, protests, grief, called animals, accused of supporting terrorism, framed as instigators, and an Australian Jewish organisation openly calls for genocide, the reposted tweet says. Now, really? That's your take. The protesters are now the victims. There is something really rotten at the ABC if this woman is allowed back on air. And the story doesn't end there. The ABC also ran into strife with ABC Middle East correspondent Tom Joyner, getting in a fight with the press pack in Israel and using crude language in a group chat to talk down a key detail. Sophie Ellsworth exclusively reported, ABC Middle East correspondent Tom Joyner labels stories about babies being beheaded in Israel BS. The ABC's Middle Eastern correspondent Tom Joyner has labelled reports about babies being beheaded by Hamas terrorists in Israel BS during a fiery exchange in a WhatsApp group with hundreds of international journalists and broadcasters. Now, as Sophie reports, the group chat, which had many journalists in it, turned on Joyner and asked him to retract the comments. But it shows how these ABC reporters think about the issue. The semantics of whether a child was beheaded or simply blasted to death by gunfire is an irrelevant distinction. Either way, it is disgusting. And at the time he made those comments, it was well established that many, many children had been murdered. We, of course, now know that the beheading reports have been verified. But this ABC journalist wanted to kill off that narrative before he was smacked down by his peers. It is another example of big ego journalist personalities of the ABC calling the shots with no editorial oversight. Now, Sophie, I want to go back to you because this was your exclusive. Well done. You've been on fire lately. Tell me about this story, how you came across it, why you thought it was important. Well, Jack, it is important because Tom Joyner is the Middle East correspondent for the ABC, the tax fair payout funded broadcaster that all Australians pay for. Uh, these messages were obviously given to me showing what his remarks were to a WhatsApp chat group with hundreds, I'm told possibly 600 broadcasters from across the world who are working on this unfolding situation in Israel. For Tom Joyner to make those remarks, pretty offensive remarks uh, to a WhatsApp group, he was heavily condemned by the group. I put questions to the ABC about whether or not his remarks were appropriate, was he being reprimanded uh, and when we're going to air Jack, no action's been taken. The ABC to this point have not made any comment and I've tried to reach Tom Joyner and haven't heard a word from him. Uh, this is really serious stuff, Jack, when the Middle Eastern correspondent is sharing his views on this uh, and they're going all around to this massive WhatsApp group and, and a lot of the reporters on the ground were really annoyed about this and, and they said that in that chat, which I exposed. So uh, I think the ABC need to do something about this. It's very disturbing they haven't said anything, but not too surprising.